good morning to all of you hope screen is visible to you and uh, audio is clear so that we can start uh, today's class good morning happy to see everybody is attending at 10:30 uh, sharp in the online classes thank you so let us start uh, our discussion a cyclic course chapter we are discussing a block diagram we are going to discuss now we are taken a uh, symbols what you are going to use before that just once again you can revise c equal to d into g g equal to ip h equal to k transpose i n minus k c h transpose equal to 0 s equal to r h transpose we have discussed for a linear block code now I think this we have already discussed. Uh, give me a, a one second. So these symbols, hope all of you have already copied in the previous class. So flip flops we represent like this, and uh, mod to add up plus means mod to add up we represent using this particular symbol. And gi this may be there or may not be there. And if it is there, then gi equal to one. If it is not there, it is a open means it is gi equal to zero. and gate we write by default it is a and gate in our block diagrams and yesterday i asked you people to copy down this general one so sometimes it may be difficult for you to understand this general block diagram let us take a specific example so that it is easy for you to understand so copy down this if you already copied then we will continue yesterday i asked you people to copy this so i have completed design an encoder for a 74 binary cyclic code generated by g of x equal to 1 plus x plus x cube and verify its operation using a message vector 1001 and 1011 so just copy down take a few seconds uh, continue i think uh, you people have copied hope others have also copied very good so that you can go to the next slide Given g of x one plus x plus x cube by comparing with the coefficients in general g not plus g one x plus g two x square plus g three x cube plus 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 we can write g not equal to one g one equal to one g two x square term is missing therefore g two equal to zero g three equal to one so with these values the circuit reduces to or how we can write So before we go to the next, just copy down g of x and g not g one g two g three. Then we'll go to the circuit equal to one g one equal to one g two equal to zero. Why g two equal to zero? X square term is not there, but g three is there. X cube term. That's why it is one. So using this, how we can write? Uh, it is general format R not R one R two R three etc. But g one g not is one. Question is there? G1 is one connection is there. G2 is not there, therefore there is no connection. Simply we are keeping it open. And G3 is there, hence there is a connection. So copy down this encoder block diagram. Then we'll have discussion. Let me go to the next. Consider the data one double zero one. We write down like this. Remember the direction. I am writing one double zero one, but this example, if you write like this, also you won't come to know. But always you have to start from the bottom and you write down above. Now I want you to please keep your eye on the screen. Try to understand. It takes hardly a minute or two. If you understand these two minutes, uh, almost uh, this chapter will become easy for you. So I want you people to concentrate on this slide. Try to understand. Now I have to check. Say R not R one R two initially zero are there. Now I am giving one double zero one. So I am giving one. Then next time I will give zero. Next time I will give one zero. Next time I will give one. So one by one bit I have to give. It is a shift register. All will happen at a time. A shifting operation, but I cannot explain parallel at a time to you people. So I will take one by one. So please try to understand. It is very simple because you already studied the shift registers. Now when I give this one. 
This is zero. Mod to adder. So what is the output of a mod to adder? Either zero or one. You have to tell. Try to understand. This is zero. This is one. These two are given to the mod to adder. Answer or result of this will be zero or one. One. So gate is enabled always. Throughout our discussion, remember gate is enabled. Now what is the output of gate? Gate is enabled. So whatever I give, zero if I give, zero it will come. Think it is like a short circuited. That's all. When gate is enabled because it's an AND gate. So whatever is there here, the same thing will come here. So this will come become one. So now the same one will come here, as well as it will come here also. But one by one I have to discuss. Parallel it will come. Okay. Now try to understand it. Very simple. This becomes one. The same one will come here. The same will one come will here. Now what is the value of R naught? R naught will become equal to how much? One. Because R naught has got a put of the gate is connected to the R naught. Now this is a one, no doubt. What about R one? R one equal to. I want you to type. No doubt, even though if you type wrong also, I'll be happy. Just try to understand. See, this was one. This was one. So this is zero. Previous value I had to consider. So when I am adding mod two, when this one is coming, this zero plus this one will become equal to one. The output of R one will become one. Just take a few minutes, a few seconds, and try to understand the same one I am writing. Always you have to take a previous value of what I have written here when you are considering the previous register. So now can you tell what is the value of R two now? It is a shift register basically. If mod to adder is there, I have to add and I have to write the answer. Now the R two value equal to zero or one. Is Raghav type zero? Yes, Rashmi has type zero. Priyanka is telling one. She is taking this one, and these people are taking zero. Remember, previous shift register I told na previous value I had to consider R two will become equal to zero. Now try to understand and try to do yourself the second step. Now this one 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 zero will become a present R one value, R one value, R no R two value. Now can you write R one R one R two equal to how much? I'll give you one minute. Check. So this is zero. Observe your output. What you have written and what I am discussing. Output of the, uh, this atom motor adder will become a no doubt zero, and the same will come to the R naught. So R naught will become zero or one. Now, what all of you have written and R naught will become one. The same zero will come here. It will become R naught. So R naught will become equal to zero. Now. The same zero will come here. R one becomes zero. Then, what about R one? Can you tell at least now? R one will become present gate output plus previous R not. How much it will be? Is it zero or one? So whether is it zero or one? Present R one. One. So because I am adding the This zero plus previous one, it will become one. What about R two value? Previous R one. R two will become previous R one. So therefore, R two will become equal to how much? R two will become equal to same previous R one. Previous R one was one. Hence, it will become one. So can you try a third one at least? I want you to write a correct answer. Zero one one is correct. I want you to write a next third row. Type your answer in the chat box. I will wait for you people to type. Now we are discussing a third input is zero, and present R not R one R two values are zero one one one. One plus zero will become one. The same one will come to the R not. Is that no? This becomes how much? Check it. I will give another. Few minutes. Do it again. So try to understand. Shall I tell you once again? So you can uh, go through once again if you want. Try to understand. Zero plus one, automatically it will become one. The same one will come here. R not becomes one, no doubt. 
and now we are talking about R1. R1 will become 1. Why? Because 0 plus present gate output is 1. Answer is 1. And what about R2? Previous R1. It will become 1. This is the answer. Can you tell the fourth one at least perfectly? I will wait for you people. Let us uh, discuss now whether your answers are correct or not. So 1 plus 1 will become how much? 0. It should 0 will come to R0 automatically. So this 0 will come to the R0. R0 will become 0. What about R1? This 0, whatever the gate, gate output is there, plus previous R0. This will become how much? 1. So the same one I am entering in the table. Now previous R1 will become present R2. Just shift it. So this will become 1. So 0, 1, 1 is correct answer. And uh, Rashmi, you just go through once again and try to understand. And now we got 0, 1, 1. So this 0, 1, 1, uh, we change the position to switch 2 and we will get uh, this 0, 1, 1 parity bits. Take a one, uh, take a same example, 1, double, 0, 1, but do it using equation. Don't see the circuit diagram at all. Leave it this block diagram, whatever the diagram is, leave it. Just see this and write down this, all the three. Then you compare what you have written. R0 equal to R2. Initially you take all 0. R2 plus input. All these, whatever I am writing, these are all previous. Just take one minute and try to do it. Using block diagram if you do or using this, both are same. Because R1 equal to R0 plus R2 plus input. R2 plus input is nothing but this gate output. Plus, I am adding R0. That will become a R1. Answer should remain same. Try it. You are supposed to get a same. 1100111111011. You people can compare. Those who are not getting. Just compare with this. I will pause for another one minute. So the same block diagram, whatever is the encoder circuit is there. We are writing in terms of equation. But here whenever I am writing a resistor, by default it is a previous value of that resistor I have to take. That's all. These are present.